And welcome back to another Mining Monday. Today I'm going to show you what the hash rate is and the optimal settings for power to hash rate is for the Zotac 1060 Mini. I haven't seen many reviews on this or anything about the hash rate really other than a few articles and I thought I'd show you guys what this Mini can do because I think it's slightly underrated compared to the other 1060s. If you're also interested in a cheap alternative, I'm going to be doing some 1050 Ti's and showing you which is the best value for money. I've got a few, I've got an Asus one, a late one, and I'll show you which one's going to get you the best bang for buck. And again, I'll do these benchmarks to see what the hash rate is because they're pretty cheap at the minute, about 150 quid. So I paid 220 UK pounds for this. That's pretty good in this mining market at the minute. They're around 300 pounds. And that's why I think the mini's underrated. I don't think people are using it at the minute. So let me show you how the power is for this and what your hash rate's going to be. So this card baseline's running about 29 watts, 29.1 watts. That's pretty good. It's running on the spec I'll put in the description below what my mining rig spec is. I'm also going to show you how to build a mining frame very soon and show you how to build an 8 GPU rig using the um, Z270P and what configuration you're going to need. Most people can only get seven cards running in this. I've worked out to get eight. I'm going to show you that configuration as well. But this 1060, as you can see, is a bit lucky. It has got the Samsung RAM in it. So the card here, not clocked, standard settings, is running about 19 to 20 hash rate. It's running um, Samsung memory, as you said. It's running 127 watts of power here. So that's pretty good. So let's try and clock it up, see what we can get. Let's see how it performs on power and see what kind of bang for book you can get out of this card. So the first thing I'm going to do is traditionally leave the power at 100. We've clocked the memory to 400 straight off the bat. Seems to be where the good starting point is. Let's see what it does. So bang, for an extra 10 watts of power here, 137 watts, you're getting around 22 hash rates. So an increase of 2 hash, that's pretty good. Let's turn up a bit more, see what else we can get out of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink the temperature and put it to 85 watts. Seems to be where I'm quite happy with them sitting at at the minute. We're going to crank the memory up again at 200 hertz to 600. Let's see what it does. So now we're starting to get 23 hash here. The GPU temperature is holding at 68 degrees. The power is 140 watts. We're starting to get into the 1070 territory here for wattage and what it can take. We're getting a decent clock speed. It's nice and stable at the minute. Let's turn up the core clock here. Let's give it another 100 on the core clock. See what it does. So the increase here on in the core clock speed of 100 hasn't done anything really. The hash rate looks pretty much identical, but it has increased the power by one watt. So as normal as we expect, the moment the core clock speed here is not making any difference. Let's declock that to 400, minus 400, let's see what it does. So again, you can see here, no difference at all in the hash rate here. It's very similar, 23.2, 0.3.1, and 138 watts. So it's dropped 3 watts of power from the plus 100 or maybe 2 watts of power from the default clock speed to zero. So let's turn up the core memory clock a little bit more and see what we can get out of it. Put it to 800 this time. So plus 200 on the core clock to 800, it's giving it a 24.3 hash rate, so it's given another extra hash, um, but it has given us an extra bit of wattage, and we're in 143 watts now. So again, this is around the 1070 territory, 1070 will give you 30 hash around this rate. The 1070 is still a better card, but they're hard to get, the 1060 could be your option at the minute. Let's push it to 1000 watts with 100% power, and then we'll decrease the power limit and see if we can get it stable, we'll see if we can get out of it properly. So the memory at 1000, the GPU temperature is nice and stable at 71 degrees. We're pulling uh, 25 mega hash here, 25 and a half mega hash and 154 watts of power. Still not a bad hash rate out of this card. This is doing pretty well here in my opinion. It's keeping the temperature way below the 85 degrees that I've set. So let's start declocking the power and see if we can keep it stable and keep the hash rate up. Yeah, it seems to have died at 1000. So it's obviously not too happy at the 1000 where it looked to be stable, but obviously it's not. We managed to get it running at 80% power, minus 400 clock, and 1,000 memory clock. And it's pulling in 132 watts power to 133. But it's not been stable at this, so I'm going to declock it down to potentially 800. Let's see what we get. So what was interesting to see here, it could be down to the, the maybe the memory clock not working quite right, is I'm getting 24 hash here, and I'm still drawing 132 watts. So let me show you the settings I've been using, and then... This is where it's been stable, it's been running fine, it's getting a decent power draw, and we'll see what you think. Let me know in the comments what you're getting out of your card, what your power draw is, anything else you'd like to see in these videos. So this is where I'm finding it to be good. It's around 70 power. Obviously the temperature is 85, but we're only getting 60s. Minus 400 clock, memory 600. And I'm getting 23 hash around here. It's in 22 at the minute, but it seems to creep around 23, 22, high 22s. It's in 118 watts, but this is where I find it to be optimal. Um, for two cards for the EVGA 6 gig super clock and for this Zotac Mini 6 gig. So if you drop the power off down to 50, 
you drop the hash rate quite considerably down to seven teams. The power draw sits at 91 watts, but you take a massive hit on the um, hash. If you take the power down to 60 here, you get 22 hash and about 104 watts of power draw. So I'm finding 70 is about right for the extra bit of hash here. Either 60 or 70 percent on the power, depending on what you want, maybe 65. So 65 power, we're getting about 23.1.2. And the power consumption is about 111 watts. So make your choice. I'm picking mine around 70. 65 is not bad. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'll do a 1050 Ti soon. Check it out eye out for my mining vid and rig. How to configure that with eight GPUs. And I'll catch you all again later. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.